In this video, we're going to show you how to forward your subdomain to the um, In this video, we're going to show you how to forward the subdomain name to your GoDaddy web address that you have purchased. So if you had the placed your site, you need to remove those settings and forward to our new site here. So I'm going to come to GoDaddy and this is one of the accounts here and we're going to edit the one for this website. So we're going to come over and come to DNS settings under my product on GoDaddy. So when I go to the DNS settings, this is going to have all the records I would need in order to get this working. Now, if you had Playster set up, you're going to notice two big records. This one for the at sign, which will show up here is GoDaddy's instructions, by the way, for Playster. So it's basically reverse engineering this. And the biggest thing here was we had a forward with the at name. So it's easy. You actually come to the edit pencil here and just delete that out. So that goes away. And then you're going to have another one for the C name with the www, which will be the domains.myrealestateplatform, which is the other setting that they had here under Playster. So we're going to come here and click the pencil as well. And you're going to delete that one also. So getting rid of those two is the first thing we do. And then if you scroll all the way to the bottom, we're going to do a forwarding of the domain. So we're going to say add forwarding here. Now, you can leave it on permanent, which is fine. Um, forwarding with masking isn't quite going to work the way you need to right now, so just forward only when it comes to Playster. Um, and, I'm oh, sorry. You're going to have the option here for forward with the masking, and you're not going to want to use that yet because it's not going to work the way you need to, so just forward only right now. You can make it permanent or temporary where you set how long it runs to, either one, and we're going to come over here and get our link. Now, notice the link has HTTPS in it. That's going to matter, so if I copy this and come over here, I'm going to select the HTTPS version for secure, and I'm going to paste that link there. And then it's going to tell me permanent, forward only, and save. It will take about 15 minutes to an hour for this to update, but then that will then have them go to your site whenever they go to your domain name. So in this example, when we go to that domain name, it will forward to this domain name, and we made sure to choose the S for security. And that's it. And once you're done, you click save. It takes about 15 minutes to update, and that is how you will take your agent site's web address, your subdomain here, and forward it to the GoDaddy. In the event you have Google domains, we had a video around that, and that is the video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, give it a like. Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on KB Connect today.